What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Lydia, 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 and happy Top 5 Friday, everybody. For this Top 5 Friday video, I basically wanted to go through five products that I personally used to love and swear by and be devoted to, but now I just either don't use it that much anymore because I kind of fell in love with other products or because I genuinely dislike them and hate them and can't stand them anymore for my own very personal reasons. So as I go through this video, please keep in mind, I'm not trying to bash any of these brands. If anything, I just said I used to love and swear by these products, but as time has gone on, you know, I just can't really use them or I just don't use them. So the first product that we have at hand is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So this product, about five years ago, I used to swear by. When my curls were super heat damaged and I was kind of just getting rid of all the heat damage out of my hair and my curls were technically like, I guess, transitioning, um, even though I've never gotten a relaxer in my hair, this was the product that kind of gave my curls some life to it. And I used it and abused it and because of that, I can't stand the smell anymore. I've mentioned it in other videos, so some of you guys who have seen my videos in the past know that I cannot stand the smell of the coconut and hibiscus line. It is just too pungent, too strong for me. It's kind of like that synthetic coconut fragrance. I could do more so of like the Diva Curl Coconut Curl Elongator type of coconut scent because it's super soft and subtle, but this guy, too strong. And you may be asking me like, Lid, why do you have the product if you can't stand it? Well, I actually got this in PR. I tried. I tried to give it another shot once I got it in PR, um, and I still couldn't use it, couldn't stand it. I got through halfway through my hair and was like, ooh, why did I do this? I couldn't, I couldn't take it. And even when my hair was trying to dry, it was just too much. And plus, I realized this product doesn't do what it used to do for my hair when I was first transitioning. I feel like I like the results a lot more versus now my curls can't really take products like these that much. It Really prefers jellies or maybe just my hair is trained for that at this point um but yeah I just I used to love this guy but now I just can't do it anymore so next up we have the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner so if any of you all have seen my old ass curly hair routine from like 2016 maybe 2017 or something I used this and the ultra defining gel by diva curl I swore by that combo it was my holy girl combo for such a long period of time and after a while I think I just kind of got sick of the combo and kind of wanted to just start playing around with other leave-ins and other products so that's kind of how I fell out of love with this guy it's not a bad leave-in it does have silicone so I know some people are really picky about that and don't really prefer to use leave-ins that have silicones in it I know some people don't care whatsoever at this point for me personally I like to stay away from silicones if I can um, it's just a total personal preference but regardless there's nothing bad about this leave-in conditioner I mean I still have it which means I it's not to the point where I want to throw it away, but at the same time, it's just not a guy that I really reach for regularly. Wow, I'm just realizing all of these products that I'm mentioning are literally like my go-to original Holy Grail OG products um, before I really started dabbling and playing around with new products. So uh, the next one is the As I Am Curling Jelly. This was the very first jelly that I have ever tried in my curls and really is a product that introduced me to the world of curling jellies. Um, so I can't thank this product enough. This product deserves the biggest hug and thumbs up for kind of introducing me to that world because I feel like from now on curling jellies and gels are really what works best for my hair um, so I have this product to thank because of it but basically the reason why I don't really use this anymore is one just kind of like the Shea Moisture one after a while I just got I just got tired of the coconut scent. It's not as bad as the Shea Moisture one, but for me personally, I just can't do it. Um, plus, I feel like this curling jelly, it doesn't have as much hold. I like just a little bit of crunch, which is why I like the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic a little bit more um, than this guy. This gives me too much of like a soft hold, and I find that whenever I go out and it's humid out, my curls just don't last as long as I would want them to anymore. So that's kind of why I just, you know, don't really like this guy as much. It's not a bad product. It's still totally worth trying and you get a lot of product for the price, but it's just not something that I really care for anymore. Okay, so we're trucking along. 
This next guy is a product that I actually tried out for the first time this past December. A lot of it was, you know, based on recommendations from you all, recommendations from other influencers and other YouTubers because I saw how much they love this. The price of this is kind of like the best price you could get for a gel. It's 35 ounces. I mean, I should tell you what it is. It's the Wetline Extreme Gel, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the packaging. But you get 35.28 ounces for like less than $3. It's the biggest bang for your buck that you'll probably ever get from like an eco styler gel or anything like that um but I actually loved this product when I first used it. I did a video on it. I was super impressed with my results. My results were shiny. They looked good. They looked defined. They didn't feel too stiff or crunchy, but they still had a nice hold to it, and my curls lasted a long time. So now that I've said all of that, you're probably wondering, well, like, sis, what's the problem? Why don't you like it anymore? So basically, after continued use, and I know finally Amber made a video on why she doesn't really care for this product anymore, um, but for me personally, I just found that over time, it dried the hell out of my hair so I don't know if you guys kind of experience the same thing but for the first you know two or three times that I used this product my curls were popping they look good they look juicy but then by the time I got to like the fourth fifth sixth use my curls were just getting thirstier and thirstier and drier and drier and I would even try to pair it with like even more moisturizing leave-ins than I would in the past I know before I would pair it with the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Serum and after a while the products just this product just made my hair hella dry so that's why I don't really like it anymore that's why I don't use it anymore I will definitely either try to donate this or maybe give it to another friend who you know finds that this product works better for them um, but regardless it's a lot of products so I'm definitely not throwing it in the trash but I'm just not putting it in my hair anymore Okay, so last but not least, I actually feel a little guilty about including this product in here um, just because I don't hate it. There's nothing about it that I dislike or anything like that. This is genuinely just one of the products that I just don't use anymore because I found other products that I like just a little bit more. But that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with this product. If anything, it smells amazing. It gives your hair incredible shine. It is the OGX Orchid Oil Spray Oil slash Shine Oil. It has an amazing mist. Y'all know I hate products or shine sprays specifically that give you like a straight out stream. This one gives you like a nice fine mist. It smells so stinking good. I put this in my hair sometimes and people are like, what perfume are you wearing and things like that. So. I love this, but even though I love it and I just, you know, really enjoyed it for a long period of time, I've actually found other shine sprays that I like a lot more and I can totally do a top five Friday video of my favorite shine sprays at the moment. Um, but this guy is just one that I haven't been reaching for that often ever since I've been, you know, using some of my other, you know, more current favorites. Um, but I still wanted to mention it in case some of you guys wanted a good recommendation for like a nice cost effective shine spray. This is the one. But like I said, I used to love it, swear by it. I just don't use it that often anymore. So that wraps it up for this week's top five Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what product you used to love and enjoy, but now just either hate or just don't use that often. I want to know. I'll respond to you all in the comments below. But if you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to comment the word past down below just because all of these products are officially in my past except for that orchid oil spray i think i may have to revisit that at some point but regardless these products are now in my past and i have new products that are now in my present so yes be sure to comment the word past down below give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe i will love you if you do i won't hate you if you don't but i will love you if you do and like always share this with a friend as well but thanks again for watching y'all and i will see you in the next one Peace.